dear student in this video we are going to talk about the discovery of electrons and how jj thompson discovered the electron by using cathode rays tube experiment before 1897 it was believed by scientific community that matter is made up of smallest particle and these smallest particle are indivisible and these are known as an atom so it was basically a dalton atomic theory it was dalton who proposed that atom is the smallest particle of a matter however in 1897 jj thompson concluded that there are some other particles present inside the atom. These particles are known as electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles. J.J. Thompson performed cathode rays tube experiment in which he produced cathode rays inside the cathode tube. He investigated the nature of cathode rays and on the basis of that, he concluded that cathode rays are made up of negatively charged particles known as electrons. So now, dear student, let us discuss about the discovery of electrons by J.J. Thomson cathode rays tube experiment. Dear student, basically, cathode rays tube is a simple, highly evacuated glass tube. Cathode rays tube is a vacuum tube. It is basically connected with vacuum pump. Vacuum pump evacuate a cathode rays tube. So the pressure inside the cathode rays tube is very low and there is no pressure, no, gear, uh, no air inside the cathode rays tube. Usually the pressure in the cathode rays tube is around 0.01 tar or it could be 10 raised to power minus 4 at most. So the cathode rays tube has a metal plate and this metal plate is known as cathode. Whereas there is another metal plate inside the cathode rays tube and this metal plate is known as a node. Now, question here is that, dear student, why the cathode is, one metal plate is known as cathode and other metal plate inside the cathode rays tube is known as anode. The metal plate which is connected with the negative terminal of this battery or high potential source is known as cathode. Whereas a metallic plate which is connected with positive terminal of the battery is known as anode so this is anode and this is cathode now important question here is that the role of cathode is to push the electron away from it it basically liberates the electron from itself whereas the role of anode is to pull electron toward itself now Dear student, when the cathode rays tube also consists of a fluorescence screen. The fluorescence screen, screen has important role in order to detect if there is any kind of radiation produced by a cathode. So fluorescence screen will glow up when the radiation produced from the cathode interact with the fluorescent screen. So on the basis of that, we can basically conclude that there are cathode rays inside the cathode rays tube. Both the cathode and anode plates are connected with positive and negative terminal of the plate. So when high potential difference is created between cathode and anode by a battery, which usually operate around 10 kilovolt to 50 kilovolts, then there will be a production of electric current which will pass through the cathode 
and as well as anode and due to the potential difference the cathode rays will be produced from the cathode and they will travel from cathode toward the fluorescent screen and will cause the glow of the fluorescent screen so now this experimental setup was just telling us about that if the high potential difference is created between cathode and anode of the metallic plate there is a generation of arrays and these rays are known as cathode rays now J.J. Thompson discovered the cathode rays. Interesting question here was that he was in investigation that what will be the nature of the cathode rays, whether these rays have any kind of charge or they are neutral. In order to confirm this, J.J. Thompson performed another experiment. And in this experiment, J.J. Thompson again took another cathode rays tube which has mm, uh, electrode these electrodes are cathode and anode and these were both these were connected with positive and negative terminal of the potential source or of the battery so jj thompson <clears throat> now just modified this cathode rays tube experiment by incorporating two metallic charge plate which were basically <clears throat> placed inside the cathode rays tube like this so these were the two metallic charge plate jj thompson used in his new experimental setup for the cathode rays tube these charge plate one of the charge plates was positively charged whereas other charge plate was negatively charged okay so this plate the black one was positively charged and whereas the negative one is negatively charged these are plates were charged by connecting them with high potential source so the one plate has a positive charge on it whereas the other plate has a negative charge so this means that if the potential difference is present between the cathode and anode or if there is a high potential difference in the cathode and anode the cathode will cause the generation of cathode rays rays and since the, there are metallic plate which are positively and negatively charged so now if the cathode rays which are will be generated from the cathode due to potential difference if it has any kind of charge then this cathode rays which is generated from the cathode will be deflected by the positive or negative charge plate so uh, when high potential difference is applied between the cathode and anode jj thompson noticed that the cathode rays are deflected by the positive and negative charged plate inside the cathode rays tube jj thompson noticed that the cathode rays were deflected toward the positive charge plate which means that opposite charges attract each other whereas same kind of charges deflect each other this means that cathode rays are attracted by positively charged particles means that cathode rays are oppositely charged and they are basically negatively charged and he gave name to these rays as electrons he gave name that these rays consist of negatively charged and these charges are electrons in order to validate the nature of the cathode rays for existing a negative charge jj thompson slightly further modified 
his cathode rays tube experiment by using magnetic field so he took mag bar magnet with north pole and south pole okay these are north and south pole as you know that a moving charge uh, has electric field electric field electric force and as well as magnetic force so this force as a whole is known as Lorentz force when a charge move for example it's electron suppose it's the move in a magnetic field it will be deflected and it will spiral it so in case of uh, when in case uh, so as you know that the magnetic field of lines uh, are basically are come out from north pole and they go toward the south pole so the force the velocity the, uh, the cathode rays which are basically electrons have a velocity v when they move parallel to north perpendicular to the north and south poles then these cathode rays will start to spiral at due to a Lorentz force on them and they will basically uh, def be deflected and they will be uh, they, there will be their infraction with a fluorescent screen will be in opposite direction somewhere around here so this means that the cathode rays basically are deflected from the magnetic by the magnetic poles and which basically indicate that the cathode rays have a charge nature or they are charged particles so on the basis of the presence of the uh, charge plate and as well as magnetic poles jj thompson concluded that cathode rays do cathode rays are basically are based on negatively charged particle and these particles are known as electrons so now just in, in let's conclude the jj thompson cathode rays tube experiment for the discovery of electron jj thompson before is that jj thompson it was believed that matter is made up of smallest particle known as an atom however in 1897 jj thompson performed his cathode rays tube experiment and on the basis of that experiment jj thompson concluded that atom consists of smaller particles even smaller than atom itself and these particles are known as electrons electrons are negatively charged particle the nature of the cathode rays are discovered by J. Thompson by using charged metallic plate and as well as magnetic poles and on the basis of that he observed that electron or the cathode rays to basically cathode rays are attracted by the positively charged plate and they are deflected and spiraled by a magnetic field on the basis of that jj thompson concluded that cathode rays are based on charged particle and these charged particles are known as electrons so dear student thank you for watching this lecture